Hey guys, David here from Gogeta55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your screen in Linux. Okay, so let's get started. So screen recording in Linux is very hard, and it's very hard to get a good quality screen recording in my opinion. Right now I'm using VirtualBox and I'm running OpenSUSE 12.3 in it. I'm using my Mac screen recorder to actually record the desktop right now. But I'm going to be showing you how to record your screen as if it wasn't in a virtual machine and as if this was just running as a standalone operating system. The program that we're going to be using is called XVidCap. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and click on the link that I have down in the description below. It'll bring you to this page and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on your distribution. If you don't see your distribution in this list, click on one that is extremely similar to yours. Normally that'll work. So once you click on your distribution, you should see the RPM packages or if you're using a Debian based distribution .deb files and you're going to want to click on the one corresponding to your processor type. So I'm running a 32 bit version of OpenSUSE 12.3 so I'm going to choose that. And it'll bring you to this page here. Scroll down until you see this picture of a floppy disk. Click on the floppy disk. Scroll down and you should see a hyperlink to binary package, click on that, and you can open it, and it should open in your system's package manager. Now you might run into dependency issues. If you do, since you're using Linux, I'm assuming that you do know how to resolve those. If not though, you can leave a comment down below and I can try and help you resolve those. Okay, so once your package manager has finished installing xvidcap, you can go ahead and open it. Now this red box here can be resized to record certain parts of the screen. So if you want to record the full screen, just drag it to the full screen. And xvidcap will capture the whole screen. Now you have the choice over here if you want to record audio or not. This will record it from your default audio source. And it automatically saves it as an MPEG file in your home directory, which is pretty nice because most video editors will allow you to edit MPEG files. So when you're ready to actually record your screen, all you have to do is hit the red record button over there. And you can minimize the xvidcap window. You can record your screen. Just doing a little demo here. And when you're done recording, you just can just open it up, hit the stop button, and it'll give you some results over here. Now as you can see, my capture success ratio is only about 69%. This is most likely because I am in a virtual machine. If you're running it on a regular computer, it should be higher than 69%. When I ran this on my desktop computer, it actually ran at 100%. So. You could click close on that, and when you want to play the video file, all you have to do is open up your file manager. Since I'm using KDE, I'm using Dolphin. Go to your home directory, and it should be there, the name test-0000.mpeg. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and play it because I'm afraid that this will really slow down my computer since I am running this in a virtual machine. But the quality is average, I'd say. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. This, in my opinion, is the best screen capture program for Linux, so don't think you're going to find anything with better quality, really. So thanks for watching, and I hope I helped. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my website at goguda55techtutorials.com for more. Don't forget to also check out my Facebook and Twitter page. All the links are in the description below.